What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel for today's video. Thanks to the wicked team at Shosi Store, we're going to be checking out Byways, Transformers, Rise of the Beasts, Optimus Prime. Now if you'd like one for yourself, then be sure to check out the links down below. And when it comes to an Optimus Prime based on that movie, then I think definitely this guy is easily the best out of the bunch. Not only is he pretty much spot on to the actual CG model, but compared alongside the original Studio Series Optimus Prime, is by far the superior release between the two. So as we check out the details, the head sculpt is looking sick. I do believe this is a brand new sculpt, although can't say it looks any better or any worse than the original though, but when it comes to the detail, the cybernetic sculpting for the mouthpiece is looking insane. By far though, one of the biggest changes this guy has going for him would be the brand new modified smokestack design. These are finally much smaller, they're actually angled backwards to better match the CG design. This Optimus Prime is also packing a tiny yet inbuilt matrix of leadership beneath the windshield, which I thought was a really sweet touch. So if Unicron does so happen to make his resurgence in the next live action movie then Optimus should have no issues in lighting our darkest hour and when it comes to the rest of the detail and the paint this guy is seriously looking awesome especially when it comes here to the leg design that shade of metallic blue is looking spot on I'm also digging some of the internal details that you can see here for the inside part of the leg and unlike the original even the foot has been fully detailed and painted which I thought was sick as we spin this guy around to the back honestly guys just as sharp looking as the front you know because they have made modifications to this figure. The leg design is so streamlined, definitely does match what we saw from the movie. And I'm also digging some of the extra paintwork which we now have slapped onto the backpack. So overall, at least when it comes here to robot mode, definitely a marked improvement in comparison to pretty much any of the previous Rise of the Beast Optimus Primes. And this Prime is definitely one which I think has the touch. And I think the same can definitely be said as we check out the weaponry. So up first we see the return of the inbuilt forearm blasters which unlike DNA Design's cheap ass are mirrored sculpts. So there is one designed for the left hand side and one designed for the right hand side. When it comes to sculpt work these are looking killer especially with those cylindrical components smack bang and center and the outer forearm armor these things are looking sick. Although, easily my favourite out of the bunch would be the return of the Michael Bay inspired Energon Blades. Now, these are a complete different sculpt in comparison to the original and I think when it comes to paint are looking amazing. These are the only Studio Series Optimus Prime Blades which I think we've seen based on Rise of the Beasts to include the outer orange Energon lining which I think is looking sick. My only issue with these would be these inbuilt tabs. Unfortunately, unlike the DNA Design Kit, these aren't removable and I won't lie to you guys, they can come across a little ugly especially when you do install these into the robot form. But with Prime packing these, he shouldn't have no issues in slicing and dicing those Terracons. Which, speaking of, the next accessory included is the return of the iconic G1 Energon Battle Axe. Now, when it comes to detail, this thing is looking amazing, although my only issue would be, I think it's tiny, you know, stacked up alongside Prime. I'm really not quite sure as to what damage this will deal against the Decepticons. And to pair alongside the Energon Axe is the return of, yet again, another oldie but a goldie. We have the Ion Blaster, which I do believe is inspired by its look from the Bumblebee movie. This has been really nicely detailed, although to be fair, I definitely could have done without the metallic silver. I think had this just been left in a black plastic, that overall would have looked much better. But it's a great inclusion, and for those who were more so a fan of the concept art design for Rise of the Beast Prime, then this is definitely going to look wicked paired alongside him. Another Bumblebee movie inspired accessory would be the holographic earth which we do see throughout that amazing Cybertron battle sequence. Unfortunately though because this is a Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime I would have much rather had this been swapped out for a hologram of the Transwarp key. But still a really awesome accessory and will look wicked paired alongside Bumblebee. The next accessory included is more so an attachment for the trailer so this is a trailer hitch. Now this is completely optional you don't require this at all to transform this guy and to be honest even the back of the truck looks pretty decent without it, although I think the main reason why this has been included is not only to add some additional details, but also that you can store all of these weapons onto the back of Prime's truck, which trust me guys, creates for a really awesome stealth-like weaponized mode. And a pretty interesting accessory would be this back attachment. Now, this is so that you can combine Rise of the Beast Prime with a jetpack. Unfortunately, the official Studio Series Jetwing Optimus Prime jetpack doesn't appear to be compatible with this. So, I think if you want to get any use out of this, then you also have to pick up a Byways version of that Jetwing pack. Because unfortunately, I have had no luck in combining Prime with the official version whatsoever. 
And finally, probably one of the best accessories alongside the Energon blades would be the Noah Diaz's exosuit. So when it comes to detail, this thing is looking amazing, although it's pretty much a model kit. So when you crack this guy out of the box, this does come in tiny little pieces on a sprue, so you will have to assemble this yourself. Although to be honest, it is pretty straightforward. And when it comes to articulation too, definitely pretty decent. Surprisingly, much like Optimus Prime, he's also packing a ton of accessories. So in addition to these inbuilt forearms, he's also packing a pair with the blades, which we do see him use quite often in the Rise of the Beast movie, as well as a pair of inbuilt arm cannons. So this is a really nice inclusion. And to be fair, even as we spin this guy around to the back, definitely way nicely detailed in comparison to the Studio Series Core Class release. And I do think is finally in scale with Optimus Prime. He also includes a swap out head sculpt so that you can finally recreate the amazing he is not alone pose from the movie. So overall, definitely a fantastic inclusion. But to show you guys the true power of this Prime, now let's check out his articulation. So to begin with, as I mentioned previously, the head sculpt is brand new, so it now allows for a much greater range looking upwards, looking downwards. Unlike the original, it can also now tilt side to side, rotate side to side. Although my biggest issue with this release would be that unfortunately, unlike the back of the truck, they have made no amendments at all to the shoulder design. So sadly, if Prime wants to angle these here out to the side, donk, he is still unfortunately going to smack himself into the head. So for those who want want the shoulder fix unfortunately right now that does seem to be exclusive to that DNA design upgrade kit which is a shame because along with the back of the truck I'd argue that this was probably one of the biggest issues design wise that this Optimus Prime had going for him but to be fair at this point I'm kind of used to it and there are workarounds to kind of make these look better but the shoulders can also move forwards and backwards he's packing a pretty decent bicep joint a double jointed elbow even wrist articulation the waist can rotate all the way around with no issue at all you can also totally make use out of that fake ab crunch which I have found to be amazing especially when getting this guy into some of the slightly more dynamic poses when it comes here to the hips these can kick forwards all of the way that far so that is incredible unfortunately still not back too far but let's all face it the forwards range is way more important than the backwards range if you take the hip skirt angle this here outwards it also allows for a pretty decent high kick so i should imagine prime will have no issues in tackling scourge down to the ground when it comes here to the thigh joint this can rotate around he's also packing a pretty decent knee joint and then finally when it comes here to the the ankles in addition to rocking backwards and forwards they can also rock side to side in both directions and rotate left to right so overall when it comes to articulation for the most part an absolute knockout but as you guys all know to see what this optimus prime is truly capable of now let's put him through the post test So, checking out some robot mode comparisons, on the right hand side we are whacking out the original Studio Series Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime. And one thing which I can definitely say with confidence is that visually the brand new KO is a marked improvement. You know, paintwork wise, detail wise, this guy looks incredible, especially when it comes to the proportions here of those smokestacks. Although in its defense, the official version definitely has plastic quality going for it. You know, this figure here retails for roughly $30 and when you factor in how many accessories you get, unfortunately something isn't going to be packing and in the case here of this Optimus Prime I do think it is plastic quality he really does feel like a KO and you know kind of handling the two of them the joints on this guy feel way more secure in comparison here to this one so that's not to say that it's not a great figure because I definitely think it is but you definitely have to take caution with this guy if you don't want him to become dismembered slapping on those DNA design upgrades here we have the studio series Optimus Prime fully upgraded now whilst he still looks awesome I'd argue this one looks just as good and one thing I will definitely say to you guys is that when it comes around to the back of the truck, this one is most definitely superior, even without the parts forming. So if you haven't as of yet picked up the official Optimus Prime nor the DNA Design Upgrade Kit, I would definitely recommend to jump on this guy if you are after the most affordable Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime, because for only $30, this guy is even cheaper than the standard upgrade kit for this official Optimus Prime. For some general comparisons, because he is the same size as the Studio Series Optimus Prime, here is how he stacks up against the Rise of the Beast Deluxe Class Bumblebee, the Transformers Bumblebee, Leader Class, Megatron, and finally, because the big bad threat of Rise of the Beasts were the Terracons, here we have their leader, we have Scourge, with all of the DNA design upgrades, and after checking out this Optimus Prime, I have been for the most part really impressed, so I'm definitely looking forward to seeing as to what Byway do when it comes here to Scourge, because judging by some of the images which they just dropped, it definitely does stand a chance in being even better than the official Scourge, even with the DNA design upgrades. 
So, with everything now wrapped up for Prime's robot mode, let's transform and roll out into truck mode. So, for the first step, you are going to want to grab a hold of this panel, extend this here outwards. We can then take the fist and rotate this here all the way inside this hollow cavity. Snap this section here back over the top. Then what you'll do is rotate around here at the bicep and begin utilizing these multi-layered hinge joints to completely extend what will now become the side of the truck. Then what we can do is spin around here to the side. You are then going to want to take a hold of this section and this should hopefully swivel right over the top of the bicep so pretty much repeat all of the same steps here for this side bang once that's complete what we can then do is grab a hold of the shoulders angle these here upwards like that now is where you are going to take the windshield of optimus prime and begin opening this up again to light our darkest hour with that inbuilt matrix of leadership now we can spin all the way around here to the back take a hold of the backpack and completely detach this section now to match the awesome transformation in the movie now is where you are going to want to utilize that fake ab crunch crunch this section here upwards so that right now he is looking like this and here is where you are going to want to rotate this section all the way around until the front is now facing the back. Here is where you can then take the front set of tyres, so angle these sections here upwards on both sides, so completely extend those. Then what you'll do is take a hold of the matrix chamber and pretty much smack this against Prime's faceplate. Now is where we can take the neck joint and pretty much extend this section here all the way inside like that. Now we can begin to close up this chamber, so snap that section there into place, and then for the neck Next step, this is where you are going to want to take those shoulder joints, angle these sections here backwards, and then make use out of those double jointed elbows. So these are going to compress like this, and much like the original G1 Optimus Prime, the forearms do then begin to form a pretty decent chunk of the front cab. So just snap that section there into place. This piece here will then tuck underneath the sun visor, so it should look something along the lines of this. Then what you'll do is take a hold of this section, slide this panel down, grab a hold of the smokestack, rotate this so that it is now angled backwards and then for a final touch you can take this section and snap that there into place so again do all of the same steps here for the opposite side bang once that's complete we can now spin around here to the front part of the cab and the entire front grille is now going to attach into what were originally the wrist joints so just make sure they're all snapped into place like that here is where we can now turn to the legs which definitely have some of the biggest differences in comparison to the original so what you'll do here is pretty much take this panel drop this section here down then what that will allow you to do is grab a hold of the shim extend this section here upwards we can then take this joint spin that bad boy there around now what you'll do is you'll take this section here and unlike the original it is actually going to attach into this slot so spin this section here around until that does snap into place now we're going to take the foot rotate this section here all the way inside like that and then utilizing the hinge and the ball joint we are going to leave it looking something along the lines of this so again do exactly the same here for this side Bang! Once that's complete, the only difference this time round is that we are now going to unlock a tab which is on the sole of this foot. So deploy that bad boy down exactly like this and now is where we can begin to combine the two halves. So I would honestly recommend to attach the feet in first of all and then what you'll do is you'll come here to these panels and give these a good nice squeeze directly down the middle exactly like that. Now these tabs here are going to slide into these slots. So make use out of these double hinge joints. So first First of all, extend the ones down here on the base and then just make sure that these here do perfectly line up with those sections so that right now Optimus Prime should be looking exactly like this. Then what we can do is take this section, angle that backwards, deploy the fuel tank exactly like this. Then what you'll do is take a hold of this die cast skirt section, snap that piece into place, spin around here to this side and do the same. So make sure this section here slides down, deploy that fuel tank, take a hold of that die cast skirt, snap that into place make sure the front grill stays into place and that is pretty much Optimus Prime fully transformed without any of the unnecessary parts forming. So as I mentioned previously that section which I showcased beforehand isn't even needed for the truck mode to look decent. I mean in my opinion this already looks so much nicer in comparison to how it did first time round with the original Studio Series Optimus Prime. The way those gunmetal panels now fold inside the cab really cleans this up a whole lot but because it is a part of the official transformation now let's whack out this panel. So there are in total four different tabs here which are going to slide into some slots here on the base so just make sure that that is lined up exactly like this.
And bang, here we have Optimus Prime rolling out into the battlefield of Peru, fully transformed into his off-road truck. Now this is a marked improvement in comparison to the original for so many reasons, one of those being the paint tab. So it's pretty sweet to see that that off-road ball bar has now been fully decked out in this really sick silver, although the second we spin this bad boy here up to the top, it is awesome to see that the entire top part of the truck is now fully decked out in a red. So with the original, it was kind of a mixed match between grey and red plastic, unfortunately it looked terrible so this is a marked improvement it's also pretty sweet to see how the smokestacks are also in proportion with the truck mode and of course the second we spin this bad boy around to the back this looks so much nicer in comparison to the original and i really think it's the main reason why many collectors have been waiting to see what byway is going to cook up because when it comes here to the engineering you know this thing now looks fantastic and as i mentioned guys you don't even need this additional trailer hitch to make this look better so that is really damn impressive if you wanted to though you could make use out of all of those ports to fully weaponize this Optimus Prime up which judging by some of the upgrades the Autobots had in Dark of the Moon really isn't too far-fetched or alternatively that trailer hitch is now completely compatible with the trailer which came with the Earthrise Optimus Prime so I thought that was really damn sweet and not to mention all six wheels now roll out like an absolute dream so when it comes to Prime annihilating the Terracons or the Decepticons in his vehicle mode this guy is definitely going to be a force to be reckoned with. Now, when it comes to some truck mode comparisons, we're not going to go crazy with this segment because the amount of times I've whacked this Optimus Prime out on the channel is seriously crazy. But just to spin these bad boys around to the side, seriously, guys, I don't think there is any competition to be had at all. Not only is the paint, the shade of red, way nicer here on the Byway Optimus Prime, but when we check out the back of these trucks, wow. I honestly don't know what Hasbro were thinking when they released this guy. I mean, if they never had the budget to kind of tidy this up, then they really should have waited until they did or maybe had bumped this guy up to the leader class price point because Optimus Prime is the leader of the Autobots. He really doesn't deserve to be done this dirty and it's honestly kind of crazy that a third party company has annihilated Hasbro at least when it comes here to the truck mode and as I mentioned beforehand look at them both from a bird's eye perspective. The complete red finish that we have for this version I just think is a marked improvement so easily between the two Byway definitely wins this round and as I mentioned beforehand if you haven't as of yet been able to track down this super elusive buzzworthy Optimus Prime then this is definitely the prime worth checking out. For a general size comparison, here we have the Rise of the Beast Deluxe Class Bumblebee. I still think this truck of prime is a little too small, so maybe if you're after true to scale, then perhaps look into the Supreme Commander Optimus Prime, which is also a figure which I do find to be better than the official, although I don't think it's better in comparison here to this one, and it is going to take a lot to top this in my opinion. And then finally, here we have him alongside the absolute star of the movie, we have Autobot Mirage, fully transformed into his Porsche 911 vehicle mode so a wicked looking Optimus Prime and one which whilst may not be true to scale I think looks sick stacked up alongside some of the other Autobots and so, wrapping up on this review for Byways, Rise of the Beasts, Optimus Prime. Overall, this Optimus definitely has the touch. You know, to be honest with you guys, I really only have two main issues with this guy. One of those being the plastic quality, which to be honest, is kind of expected, especially for the price point. And for this, at the end of the day, pretty much being a KO. And the second one would be that unfortunately, they didn't make any amendments at all to the shoulder design. But at this point, I've seriously kind of gotten over those shoulders. And to be fair, there are some decent workarounds to kind of make them look even badass in some poses. So... As I've mentioned throughout this video, if you haven't as of yet been able to pick up the official Studio Series Optimus Prime, then this is a fantastic, more affordable opportunity, and dare I say, a better one. The back of the truck looks insanely clean, you know, even without the piece of parts forming, and the amount of accessories and weapons this Optimus Prime includes for the price point, I think is straight up amazing. The Noah Diaz's exosuit is even more accurate in comparison to the Studio Series Core Class release, both when it comes to detail and scale. So, I would love to get your thoughts on this guy down in the comment section below if you are looking to pick him up then be sure to check out the links in the description box i want to thank you all so much for watching and until my next review transform and roll out